Now it's time to move on to some more complex logarithmic equations. Uh, first of all, it is worth noting here um, that the common logarithm, uh, which is a term that you will see occasionally used in your textbook, uh, means a logarithm with base 10. Uh, that means that sometimes, just to save time, uh, we won't actually put the base in our expression. And log of x with no base put in, that means the exact same thing as log base 10 of x. So if you're working on the CAS, you can actually skip writing in log base 10 uh, and just put log of x, um, and it works the same way. In any case, uh, moving on to, we've got three examples to do today. Uh, the first one here is log base x of negative 2 equals 2. We're going to do this the exact same way that we've done our previous ones, uh, which is by rewriting this in index form. So I've got x to the power of 2 equals negative 2. Looking at this equation here, we should be able to tell very quickly that there is no solution to this. This is something that will come up fairly regularly when we are working with logarithmic equations. And it really comes down to something that's quite important for us uh, to make a note of. Um, so I'm going to write it down here in red so that we can all see it. Uh, and that is that when we are dealing with logarithms, um, so when we have log base a of x, so whatever a is, we need to know that x must be greater than 0. If x is not greater than 0, or if it x is equal to 0, uh, then we won't have a solution. So x must be greater than 0 for us to have a solution. Just a really important note uh, that you should make sure to remember, because um, it can save us a lot of time later on. If we see something like this, where we see that that x value is negative, right away we can tell that there is no solution. Okay, uh, that is example one. The second example, we're getting right away a fair bit more complex. I've got log base 2 of x squared minus 5 log base 2 of x minus 6. Now just an important note here, that first bit, the log base 2 of x squared, this is not the same as log base 2 of x squared. This x squared would go in brackets there, uh, so the squared just applies to the x, whereas with the squared outside of the brackets, it applies to the entire thing. So this is actually saying log base 2 of x multiplied by log base 2 of x. So just an important note there that those two things are not the same. Now this one is maybe a little bit tricky at the first step, uh, but we're going to use a similar strategy that we've used many, many times uh, before in this course. Notice that I have log base 2 of x here and log base 2 of x here. I'm going to rewrite the equation and I'm going to simplify uh, by letting, let's say, a equal log base 2 of x. Then I get, rather than that whole complicated log expression, I get a squared minus 5 a minus 6 equals 0. That's just a quadratic. I can factorize that. a minus 6, a plus 1 equals 0. So a equals 6 or a equals negative 1. Of course, I'm not quite done here. Uh, I've got to re-substitute in log base 2 of x equals 6 or log base 2 of x equals 
negative 1. Rearranging our equations, I get 2 to the 6 equals x, or x equals 64, and I get 2 to the negative 1 equals x, so x is 1 half. Those are the two solutions to this equation here. And you will notice that both of these are positive numbers, positive 64 and positive a half. So looking at this, that's fine. Both of those solutions are acceptable. I'll show you quickly how to do that on the CAS. Once again, you're going to use solve. And we are going to solve. Here it's important that we put our log base 2 of x in brackets and then our squared outside the brackets minus 5 bracket once again log base 2 of x get out of my brackets uh, minus 6 equals 0 we are solving for x press enter x is a half or x equals 64 beautiful last example here log of or log base 2 again of x squared plus 4x minus log base 2 of 3x plus 4 actually we're not going to make that equal to 0 we're going to make it equal to 1 so going through solving this right away there's maybe not an obvious first step but we're going to have to apply some of our logarithmic laws that we learned the other day notice that the base is the same the base is the same and I'm subtracting so I can use logarithmic law number two to simplify this log base two of x squared plus 4x divided by 3x plus 4 equals 1 fantastic now I've got one logarithm when I have one logarithm, I like to rewrite that. I like to rewrite it in index form. 2 to the power of 1 equals x squared plus 4x over 3x plus 4. So 2 to the 1, of course, is just 2. So I don't can just write that like that. Now, I don't like algebraic fractions. Just pause for a second and have you see if you can think about how to get rid of that yourself. Okay, hopefully you've had a think uh, and hopefully you've come up with, to get rid of this, we're going to multiply by that fraction, by the denominator, 3x plus 4. What I do to the left, I've got to do to the right as well. So I'm multiplying both sides by 3x plus 4. Uh, distributing in my brackets on this side here, I get 6x plus 8 equals x squared plus 4x. Let's rearrange to solve that. x squared plus 4x minus 6x minus 8, not sure what happened there, minus 8 equals 0 x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 x minus 4 x plus 2 equals 0 so x equals 4 and x equals negative 2 great let's just double check what we've done here uh, by doing it on the CAS so once again we're using solve and we're going to solve log base 2 of x squared plus 4x close bracket minus log base 2 of 3x plus 4 and that equals 1 we're solving for x now hold on a second. We've only got 
one solution here. We've got x equals 4, but when we work this out by hand, we found two solutions. The CAS is correct, so we've got to do a little bit of thinking here to figure out what might have gone wrong. Once again, pause the video for a little bit, think about it, uh, and then I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, this is maybe a little bit trickier, uh, but it goes back to that first example that we did, where we said that that number inside the brackets cannot be negative. I don't have a number inside the brackets, but I do have a couple of expressions. I've got x squared plus 4x, and I've got 3x plus 4. So for this function to exist, or for this equation to work, I cannot have x squared plus 4x be negative, or 3x plus 4 be negative. Now let's see what happens if I use the two solutions that I've got. So when x equals 4, then in that case, x squared plus 4x is 4 squared plus 4 times 4, 32. Okay, yep, that's greater than 0, so that works. Uh, and we need to check the other one as well. 3x plus 4 is 3 times 4 plus 4, 12, 16. Once again, that's greater than 0, so that works fine. So that solution, as the CAS showed us, that solution is A-OK. -okay. So let's just put a box around that one because it's good. Uh, let's check the other one now. So what happens when x is a negative 2? x squared plus 4x is negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2. Well, when we simplify that, we get negative 4. And as we said, we cannot have the log base anything, particular base 2, of negative 4. This cannot be done. So there is no solution when x is negative 2. It doesn't work. Uh, we can check in the other one as well, and we should end up, um, well, we can see what happens here. 3x plus 4 would equal 3 times negative 2 plus 4 is negative 2. So once again, we've got a problem. We only actually need a problem in one of these two cases. Uh, it, we don't need a problem in both, but one or the other is enough for us to say that x equals negative 2 is not a solution. So we can cross this out. The only solution, which is what the CAS gave us, is x is equal to 4.